For three weeks every summer, the elite tennis world gathers in Flushing, New York for the U.S. Open. A few miles away stand the Lincoln Terrace Park tennis courts, where players, most of them African-American, have built their skills in the shadow of one of the sport's four Grand Slam tournaments. Since the 1960s, these 11 courts have offered a sanctuary from racism and an opportunity for African-Americans to build a community of tennis enthusiasts. This is a social community, so we like to talk and we brought food and we sit over there on the bleachers and we socialize and we play tennis. To me, this is home. Well, I've been coming here for a few years now and I think I just love the community. I love being able to see people that look like me, like representation is great. These players compete on rugged courts with a subway train line that runs right alongside it, challenging the concentration of any competitor. On a recent Saturday afternoon, a dozen people were hitting balls in the hot sun. Before I was born, these courts were here. It's like a stable of the, of, of the neighborhood. And I guess we're that back in the days before my time and when I was younger, this was one of the places that a lot of African American can play and feel safe without being discriminated. It is tennis communities like this that were inspired more than a half century ago by some of the earliest African American tennis champions, including the 1957 U.S. Open champion Althea Gibson. Althea and Arthur Ashe. Althea actually first because she was before Arthur Ashe and they opened up the tennis world to, to, to let blacks know that this is you can do this. From them came Serena and Venus. And Althea Gibson's success has opened up doors for the Lincoln Terrace Tennis Academy to open up opportunities for African American youth, but more importantly for them to see this as a possibility for a career path. Many also credit Serena and Venus Williams for keeping the balls bouncing at these courts. I believe, yes, before Serena and Venus, this place existed. It was always great, but with them being in the picture of becoming great tennis players, it also helped this neighborhood and the tennis community. Both her and her sister helped popularize tennis and took it to another level. With the excitement surrounding Serena Williams' possible retirement after this year's U.S. Open, one wonders if the next African-American tennis superstar may already be practicing here at Lincoln Terrace Park Tennis Courts. Aaron Raynan for VOA News, New York City.